everyone welcome to fantasy lighthouse thank you for joining me here today on my channel we are in my abuela soila's room i'm with my ancestor today so i definitely want her to be present for these messages if you don't follow me on instagram please make sure that you do that's where everything gets started over there you're gonna find out what it is that i'm about to talk about today you're gonna see how it is that you need to deal with a situation based off of an image that i'm putting up Okay, so I feel like this week I have to defend you. Each of you guys are going through something different, but I've just chosen to stay in this eighth house energy. So in order for you to just really be aligned with what's happening on the channel, anything that's exclusive is going to be in my story and on my Instagram first. All right, so the official link to my IG can be found in the description box below of this video. We're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to energies that surround Taurus. Talk to me about energies that think about Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about whomever this is, Taurus, who is the king of wands in the recent past, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be a fire sign for all of you. This person could actually have fire somewhere in their chart. Regardless, this is somebody that's looking at you with a lot of fire. Now, I'm not sure if that intensity is anger or if this is somebody that has a lot of passion. So let's take a look at where all of this fuel is coming from, right? Because this is somebody that is looking at you in a multi-dimensional way. Tell me more about the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now we have Pisces coming out here. I feel like in the recent past, somebody's all fired up about something and they're thinking about it, okay? There's a lot of thought going into whatever it is that they're planning, okay? Because I feel like there's some sort of strategy, a plan, something coming together. Talk to me about the hanged man energy here. Spirit, talk to me about what this king is thinking about. He's thinking about the three of swords energy. What took place here in the recent past, Taurus? Because this is something that is severely piercing this person, as you can see with the Three of Swords energy present. This could also indicate that there's too many knives, too many people involved, right? And this is bothering them. Whatever it is that transpired, I don't know what happened, but they are definitely in a space of feeling like they don't know what to do. Clarify the Three of Swords. Temperance energy. Now we have another Sagittarius coming out here. Double Sagittarius energy. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Clarify the temperance here for Taurus. Yeah, somebody's walking away. Okay, I see a Sagittarius leaving, distancing themselves, feeling like they know that they have to go. Someone knows that they have to leave, all right? That's what has to happen here in the recent past. I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with, but there's trouble here. We have this king fixated, watching Taurus, watching Taurus's moves, whether it's the king of wands, the king of swords, the king of cups, the king is present. All right, so I feel like it's also more than one person. It doesn't matter. You have all of your ancestors. I have mine present here with me today. All right, I'm in her room. I pray to my ancestors, okay? I know that I'm protected. So you know that as well. Continue to pray to your spirits, to your ancestors, and be around them, okay? Just because they're not here in this 3D realm does not mean that they are not around you in your 5D realm. Tell me more. What is this Eight of Cups? What is this Eight of Cups here? Okay, Capricorn energy, right? So this person feels like 
They are walking into something that's toxic. There's something here that has devil energy attached to it. And they're like fucking trying to juggle and figure out what the fuck they're going to do. I feel like they're going to the wrong people about shit, first of all. You know, one of the first things that, that needs to stop is the gossip and the fucking playing hopscotch with your mouth. I don't know who plays hopscotch with their mouth. Like that shit is the worst thing in the world. That's going to get you into more trouble. So I feel like that's what's going on with somebody where they're just like, you know, hokey pokey all over the fucking place. So they need to stop that shit. That's what needs to stop. Tell me more. And all of those people doing the hokey pokey are all of those people that I feel are running their mouth, right? And I feel like somebody else is fueling it. And while they fuel it, they end up fucking themselves over, all right? Because we have the three of swords. Pie in the face again. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let's talk about the present. Five of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's some people that are going to feel some type of way. Okay. Especially if you're somebody that's vocal, somebody that is going to speak their mind. They know that about you. Okay. And because of that, there are all of these people with the gossip, but the gossip is coming from one person who keeps fucking talking about you or keeps you in their mouth. Like, do you like ain't nobody bothering you so just stay the fuck up out my energy before you're gonna be tweaking every night before you go to sleep if you don't stop fucking with me you know what i'm saying that type of energy two of swords all right keep it up keep up the good work right this person's on one all right you're on one too Tell me more. We got the justice card. All right. Listen, at the end of the day, I don't care what this person says. They don't want no smoke with you. They don't want no problems with you. All right. The, the justice card is definitely here next to this queen of wands. But I feel like they brought the smoke onto themselves all right and the tower we've been talking about the tower all week the tower has been coming out in the readings every day um eighth house energy is the theme for the week i've never done that before but spirit was like you know this is what you have to do right so let's clarify this justice energy Please speak to me in reference to justice here. What is this justice card all about? Yeah, all right. King of Swords, Queen of Wands. So now we have, again, with the Aquarius, the Libra, the Gemini, and the Fire Sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you're in the middle. It's like somebody is trying to get there to be peace from two different ways. They trying to come at you two different ways, but I feel like you're outsmarting somebody, okay? There's something about you outsmarting a situation here. Tell me more about the present. Scorpio energy and the strength card. It's like someone is saying in the present moment, how can I bring this back together? How can I fix this whole thing? What did I get myself into? And it's like they're blaming themselves because they know that they did it to themselves. Well, what, did they ever um, not recognize that they were going to have to pay their karma at some point for treating people the way that they have excessively treated people? You know, it's like they keep doing the same shit to several people and then they finally think that that things like this will never take place? What world do they live in? What is the future here? 
The Ace of Cups. Oh, I know. Oh, I know somebody's in love with you. Okay. Just because they're trying to act like they don't care. You don't fucking convince the energy reader. We know. We know. Right? In order to hate, you got the motherfucking love me. You've got to love me in order to fucking hate me. Tell me more. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody feels bad. They feel bad, but they did that. They did that. Tell me more. Nine of Cups. They done ruined. Somebody done ruined what they were going to do or how they were going to do it. Listen, tell me more. Yeah. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. The world card coming out here. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Sorry. <laughs> tell me more. Clarify the world. Oh, the death card in reverse. They don't want it to stop. You don't want it to stop, but what the fuck did you do? To get yourself to that place. Who is this person, Taurus? Is this a coworker, a family member, the neighbor? Who is this person that basically got themselves into their own shit and then they start to like talk about you, cause more shit, piss you off, get you to come back. Then they don't know what to do because they caused all this shit. So who is that? Anything else? outcome here what's the outcome here please the outcome the emperor that's right boss in charge tell me more tell me more about that oh somebody trying to talk to you i'm sorry bro no one's it's not gonna happen <laughs> it's not it's not gonna happen like that's not gonna work it's not going to work. They can't convince you. They can't convince you. And that's the end of that. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care. And follow me on Instagram. The link is below as well.